Hey, this is Presh Tallwalker. A test in New Zealand has left many 15-year-olds in tears because they felt the questions were nearly impossible to solve. This is causing huge controversy in New Zealand, and it's even gathering the attention of British and American news outlets. In this video, I want to share one of the problems that people feel has been very difficult to solve and I want to go over how I would solve this problem. So I've reproduced one of the test questions here. It comes with the following diagram. In a children's playground, there is a rope hanging from two points A and B on a horizontal beam. A and B are six meters apart. The lowest point of the rope is one meter above the ground. The shape of the rope can be modeled by the following equation y equals x over 3 times the quantity x minus p plus 4, where y is the height above the ground and x is the distance from a. This is a four-part question. Part 1, how high above the ground is a? Part 2, give the value of p. Part 3, on the grid, sketch the graph that models the shape of the rope. And part four, it comes with a slightly modified diagram. And here's the question. Holes are drilled through a two meter long horizontal board. The rope passes through the holes to make the seat of a swing. The height of the seat is 1.2 meters above the ground. How far apart would the holes in the board need to be if the shape of the rope above the seat stays the same? Give your answer to two decimal places. Can you figure out these problems? Give them a try, and when you're ready, keep watching my attempt at a solution to this problem. So here's how I would solve the first part. How high above the ground is A? At point A, the distance from A is 0, which equals x. Substituting this value into the equation, we get y equals 0 over 3 times the quantity 0 minus p. This will become 0. And then we have plus 4. This simplifies to be y equals 4. Hence, point A is 4 meters off the ground. Now for part two, we need to give the value of p. Point b is x equals six meters from a. Furthermore, point b is the same distance off the ground as a. Since a is four meters off the ground, that means b is also four meters off, so y equals four. So we have six comma four as the values for b. Substituting these values into the equation, we get 4 is equal to 6 over 3 times the quantity 6 minus p plus 4. We can then simplify this to be 0 equals 2 times the quantity 6 minus p, which then simplifies to be p equals 6. Now for part 3, we need to sketch the graph that models the shape of the rope. What I would do is I know the location of points A and B. The parabola passes through point A, which is 0, 4, and B, which is 6, 4. Furthermore, by symmetry, the lowest point has an x value that's halfway between A and B. And the lowest point is 1 feet off the ground. So the lowest point is 3, 1. So I would take those three points and I would sketch a curve between them and I would put arrows to indicate that they continue onward in each x direction. Now we get to the part which many people seem to think is just impossible. We have a board that's 1.2 meters off the ground, and the question is how far would the holes in the board need to be if the shape of the rope stays the same? We can translate this question to mean what's the distance between the two holes in this board? In other words, what's the distance between the two x values when y equals 
This leads to a concrete math problem. We take our equation and we substitute in y equals 1.2. We have 1.2 equals x over 3 times the quantity x minus 6 plus 4. We can then subtract 1.2 from both sides and we can expand out x over 3 times x minus 6. This becomes 0 is equal to x squared over 3 minus 2x plus 2.8. We then multiply by 3 so that we have 0 is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 8.4. This is just so that x squared has a coefficient of 1. We can now solve for the x values by using the quadratic formula. x is equal to the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. But before we substitute in the values, we want to find the distance between them. So we can write out the two different x values. One of them will be the positive square root and the other will be the negative square root. And we want to find the difference between them. So I'll take the absolute value of x1 minus x2, making sure that we get the positive distance. This simplifies to be the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over the absolute value of a. We now take our quadratic equation where we have a equals 1, b equals negative 6, and c is equal to 8.4. This simplifies to be the square root of 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 8.4 all over 1. And therefore, we get that the distance between the two x values is the square root of 2.4, which is approximately 1.55. So what do you think? Was this question impossible for 15-year-olds, and did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions. If you like this video, you can support me on Patreon. You can also check out my books, which are listed in the video description. You can also catch me on social media at Mind Your Decisions or at Presh Tallwalker, depending on the site.